what more is there in the pipeline and what more Finland government is looking for in, for India? First of all, uh, we have indeed uh, several uh, very big Finnish companies uh, who are globally uh, actually functioning in uh, Tamil Nadu. Nokia is uh, uh, um, all the time actually increasing uh, their uh, presence here. They have uh, in India operations, they have in, uh, here in Tamil Nadu their production, 5G, and then in uh, Bangalore they have their research laboratory. They are employing uh, totally more than 16,000 people and directly and indirectly, of course, many more. Kone Corporation, which is global corporation as well here in uh, Chennai, they are also uh, uh, producing uh, elevators, escalators and security doors. And of course, there are many others uh, to mention. And what we are looking now at the moment, that how do we exp explore this uh, very good cooperation already? And when it comes, it comes to the Tamil Nadu, the digitalization is uh, very rapidly now growing. And the other one is that uh, Tamil Nadu is also looking very strongly on renewable energy and uh, green transition. So we are looking very much in the areas of how to make uh, green transition also with di di digital transition. We have been talking about cooperation in quantum technology artificial intelligence and supercomputers. And there is one of the areas which we think that there is a bright future jointly. And you were talking about, uh, you know, the co more cooperation and more uh, Tamil Nadu is fastly digitizing. So in that case, and you have a minister also in this program. So is there any kind of talk with, uh, you know, with federal Finland government and Tamil Nadu government going on for the next level of project or anything? Well, we are. Uh, we hope very much that we have very good discussion with the uh, Minister of IT today, and we hope very much that we are now proceeding, uh, proceeding with the uh, memorandum of understanding, and then further to the concrete uh, cooperation. We have also having discussions, for instance, a year ago uh, already with the Anna University, and then also the IIT Madras. So there are several opportunities uh, what we can uh, put forward. And not to mention that, uh, indeed, uh, the, uh, the smaller and medium-sized companies also, we are looking forward that they are finding uh, more, more Tamil Nadu and, uh, and, uh, and being able to, having a courage also to, uh, to uh, find a, a good cooperation partners and come, come to Tamil Nadu also to produce and uh, share they, uh, they expertise. You were mentioning about IIT Madras and Anna University. Recently, G20 took place. Edu Summit was, uh, you know, has taken place in Tamil Nadu, Chennai, IIT Madras, I would say that. So, uh, what more? And uh, students also have come from Finland here. So, in education sector, if I ask education sector and uh, educational institution, what more and what is new uh, Finland is planning to have here? I was mentioning that uh, the uh, uh, when, uh, when India is digitalizing very fast and when we are all digitalizing very fast in, uh, in our countries, the next step will be uh, not only 5G but the verticals, how we are able to use the uh, uh, 5G networks, how we are able to use and build up the, our supercomputers and with artificial intelligence but also with quantum technology. And there, there you are getting uh, 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 very many uh, uh, possibilities on uh, on spreading it to the education, spreading it to the healthcare, or to, in a manufacturing 4.0 manufacturing also. We have a lot of good expertise in Finland in hardware and uh, innovation capabilities. India has a lot of uh, expertise in software and uh, algorithms, etc. I think this is a very good match for working together.